So now let's talk about camera and camera navigation. So over here, the default viewport that you see is a default camera. So it's already has been applied and whatever you see uh, right from the default camera is the camera view right there, the default camera view. So if you want to navigate around, you can hold Alt and click the left mouse button, which rotates around in the object. You can hold the Alt key and then use the middle mouse button, uh, click the middle mouse button in order to move around. And you can use the middle mouse button to actually scroll in and zoom in and zoom out of the camera view. So right now, if I were to rotate around, you can see that it is rotating around the object. I can also use my left mouse button, use one on my keyboard. I'm going to hold one. And if I were to click and drag my left mouse button, you can see that it pans out. If I were to hold two, it zooms in and out. And then if I were to hold three, it actually rotates around. So there are multiple ways to actually control the camera. So over here, you can see that there's camera option as well. On the navigation right now, I'm in object mode. You might be there by default in cursor mode. And once you actually do this, it actually rotates around. And once you pan along, you may see that it is not focusing on the object. This can be solved by going into camera, going into navigation, and you can choose object mode. And once you click this, you can see that now the camera follows the object around just like that. Similarly, you can see that there's center mode, which focuses on the center of the grid. The camera mode itself, which just lets the camera move around on itself uh, to pan around and so forth. And 2D camera mode uh, doesn't let you rotate around the camera. It stays still. So if you want to create 2D animations, you can actually use this. So I'm going to stay into object mode so that it's easier for me to work around with the models that I have over here. So besides the default camera, I can create several cameras so I can switch in between them in between animations as well. So in order to do that, I'm going to go into the camera option right here. And over here, you can see that there are several camera options, which are going to see in further lessons. Right now in this lesson, we are just going to focus on the regular camera. Once I do that, it actually added in the camera as you can see right here. And if you want to view from the camera, you can actually click this button on the object list. So let me just click it and now the camera view is on. So if I were to, let's say, for example, move around and the camera is being focused. So now I'm going to set the camera navigation option to object mode itself. So this camera focuses on over here as well. So I'm going to set the view that I like to. And then once I'm done, if I were to click this, it goes back into the regular mode. And once I zoom out, it's on to the default camera mode and you can see where the camera is pointing it right now. If you want to view from the camera, you can click this and it goes back in. So that's the view of the camera and that's the view of the default camera as you can see right here. So let me just click the camera and over here, you can see that there are camera object options right here where you can control the projection. Right now it's perspective. You can also go to parallel. So you get an isometric type of view like that. So if I were to rotate around, you can see that everything is parallel. You can have left camera, right camera and so forth. So you can have different modes like that. So you can also have something like Bert's view and so forth, which actually gives a top view angle just like that. This is an interesting one. There's also a frog view, which uh, actually flattens out everything. So let me just go to perspective because that is what I want to work with. So now I want to get back to the object. So let's go to the capsule, press S so that it actually focuses back on. So if I were to actually press S, it goes back to the object. So now besides this, I also have my other camera options. So there's focal length, as you can see, I can choose the different type of lenses. So there's a uh, classic lens, there's super wide lens, as you can see. So everything is distorted out there. So now uh, if I were to uh, actually go over here, use the focal length, seeing this out, you can see that it can change the type of lens it's using. So you can use wide angle lens. You can use the classic uh, mode. You can use the telephoto mode so you can see that everything is zoomed in. There's also the sensor size of the camera. So if you actually do some photography, you uh, the, the concept is quite similar. There's also the field of view you can increase and decrease. There's a view field of view vertically you can increase and decrease. Also the offsets of the camera, you can control it from here. I'm using my scroll mouse button to do all of these. And there's also the focus distance that you can set. So this is, this is something we're going to look into when we are actually uh, working with depth of field. And there's also white balance options that you can have. So you can have a warmer tone or you can have 
again, um, uh, something like a shaded tone, which you're going to see in further lessons as well. So once I'm done with everything, I'm going to go back onto my default camera view. And here you can see that the camera is there. So if I were to change any of this, you can see that the field of view and everything else actually changes just like that. The offset, just like this, the Y offset, sensor size, as you can see, the focal length, field of view, everything changes as you can see, and it is represented by these right here. So change the focal distance, you can see that everything else changes along with it. So that is how you can work around with the camera inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.